Hi, everyone. I'm Maggie Moore Abdal, Development Manager at Central Square Theater, and welcome to our online gala and auction. I hope you were able to join us at 1.30 to see a fantastic performance from Bedlam's Eric Tucker and Zuzana Shukorsky doing Much Ado About Nothing. And if you did miss it, it is on our Facebook page. Now, to get us started right now, the first thing you need to know is you should visit auction org to see the entire online auction, which must close tonight at 10 p.m. Right now, we're going to talk about a really exciting package, the Science and Socializing, the Marie Curie package featuring Lee McKeska Gardner. In fact, we've got Lee right here. Lee, take the stage. Hey, everyone. It's good to see everyone. So the Half-Life of Marie Curie brings Marie to Hertha Ayrton in the summer of 1912 to recover from a heartbreak and a scandal. Hertha is one of our unrecognized women in science. She was born Phoebe Sarah Marks and changed her name to Hertha in adult. She was a suffragette, a mathematician, a physicist, an inventor with 26 patents to her name. This monologue from the play is the story of one of them. There was a technical problem in the world, and I fixed it, and you're welcome. You see, human beings are very clever, aren't we? And we invented electric lamps. And by 1890, there were such lamps on every street in London, in lighting theaters, in warm dining rooms, and isn't that lovely? Except no, it was not lovely. It was loud. The damn things made this hissing, scratching, popping noise, and it was miserable. It was, well, it, it was this. It was and isn't that the most dreadful thing you've ever heard? Good God. I'd rather go back to candles and shouting, where are you after dinner? Except the choice can't be racket or darkness. So I asked myself, why the hiss? Which was the right question to ask because there was an answer and I found it. The lamp is called an arc lamp because the electricity arced across a small divide in between two carbon rods. That would make that, it, it makes the glow, the empty space between the rods, like, like two fingertips nearly touching. And isn't that a lovely metaphor for, I don't care. Now, I figure that the empty space also allows for oxygen to pool at the tip of the rods, which promotes rapid heating, which promotes that hiss. <laughs> So, I redesigned the damn things, and now I behave. Listen to this. That is the sound of a good idea. And, as I said, you're welcome. Bravo! Bravo! I know I can't wait to see Lee take the stage in our upcoming seasons. Lauren Gunderson's The Half-Life of Marie Curie, part of the Brit Darbalov Women and Science Festival. And you can be there too. With this great package, it includes two tickets to the Half-Life of Marie Curie, a private curated tour for you and your guests at the Harvard Collection of Scientific Instruments. And you're going to enjoy dinner at Central Square Theater, Central Square's Pagu with <laughs> Lee McKeska Gardner. Yum, yum, yum. Now, don't miss your chance to bid to win. This is a hot item, guys. So get in your bid by going to auctions.centralsquaretheater.org. Auction it's on our Facebook page. It's on our website. We must close tonight at 10 p.m. Auction.centralsquaretheater.org to bid to win. And join us again at 3.30, where we will be joined for a special and our final live Facebook performance with our own Deborah Wise. Thank you all.